today we will learn how to build our Docker container for running Par server. Hi, I'm Alex the Architect from Backprep and this is Talking to the Architect. And as we saw in the last video, we can run the Par server into a Docker container. And you don't have to actually to create your own, there is a public one available in the Par server GitHub. So here I am at the Par server GitHub. If you scroll down all the way, you'll find in here the Docker file, which is a text file containing instructions to build a Docker container that runs Par server. If you open this file, you see uh, a text file containing the syntax that we learned in the last video. So it starts with a few comments telling this first part of the script is the build stage. Then it will base this container in the node LTS Alpine uh, base container for running Par server. Then it will run a apk update command, which will update all the packages inside this container, so have the latest versions and latest available ones, and add the package for Git. Then it will create a work gear called TMP or temporary, which will be running our commands for the building stage of the container. Then it will copy the package JSON file, which is included in the parse uh, project, to that folder. It will then copy the source uh, to the folder uh, TMP as well and run the npm cache clean force. This is due to a fix that had uh, to be done into the installation process. Once this is done, it will run the npm ci command. The uh, i in this uh, npm command it means install. It will install all the npm uh, dependencies for running parse. And after the install is done, it will run the npm run build, which will create the build for parse server. And at this point, the uh, uh, build part of our container will be done. Then it will the release, uh, start the release stage of our container based on the exact same distribution container, which is node LTS Alpine. Once again, it will run apk update to update all the uh, components of that uh, distro and then add the git to the distro. This new com this command is new, volume. We didn't learn about volume uh, in the last video. Volume creates mounting points for the host uh, computer to access folders inside the container. This will create two uh, mounting points, par server cloud where you're going to store your cloud code and par server config where you're going to store the config files for pars. Both these endpoints will be accessible through the host so when you're executing this container we'll be able to see these folders from the host machine. Then it will um, set the work there to par server so from now on, everything that will be run will be run from the parse server uh, directory. It will once again copy the package JSON to that uh, folder and then run npm cache clean force. This will once again clean all the caches for npm and npm CI, uh, which will install the, all the uh, npm modules that parse depends on, but this will have the production uh, tag, which will bring only the uh, shortened and most uh, production driven uh, codes for N uh, npm packages. This will also ignore scripts. Once this command runs, it will copy the bin folder from your host machine to the container, the public HTML folder also from the uh, host machine to the container, the views folder as well, and then the uh, tmp lib uh, folder from the host to the lib folder in the container. We will then create a log for the uh, a folder for the logs by uh, typing mk mkdir minus p logs and then we will set the permissions for the node uh, process to write to that uh, folder. So ch on minus r which means recursive and then node which is the user and then logs. So uh, now from now on the logs folder will be writable uh, for the node process. Then we're going to export port 1337, which is the port which parse runs on. And then we will impersonate the user uh, for the node uh, uh, environment to run all the processes as the node user. Then we're going to expose the port, as we learned in the last uh, video, so we can now connect to the 1337 port once running uh, parse. And finally, we're going to run 
our command node and then slash bin slash parse server which will spin up the parse server software after all this is done parse server will be running and accessible through the port 1337 of your container and all the mounting points for um, configs and cloud code will be available through the container by uh, accessing it from the host machine so if you found this video helpful please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too if you already subscribed thank you for that and if you have any questions suggestions or any implementation you'd like to see please leave it on the comment section down below we always answer all the questions i hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back see you soon bye bye